In this tutorial, we're going to be making one of the linkage arms for our train. And basically, that's going to connect the wheels on our train uh, to help them when they are turning. Alrighty, so it's a fairly simple shape to make. Just a couple of circles and a couple of lines. And it's extruded. Really easy one to make. So let's go up to our file menu. Go to a new document. Choose the metric template. And use a standard millimeter part. We'll start a new 2D sketch and it's going to go on the XY plane today. So once you select the XY plane, go up top and select the line tool. Now we need to draw a construction line in first. Okay, so when you've got the line tool selected, come across and grab this red button here, which is a construction line. Click once on your page anywhere, come across to the right and type in the number 89 mils and press enter. You may need to zoom out a little bit to see that construction line and press escape to turn them off. So you just get that one construction line running across your page. And remember this line is not going to form part of our final sketch or our model. Okay, it's just there to guide us as we draw our shapes in today. Okay, once we've drawn that construction line in, head up the top and grab your circle. Okay, make sure construction lines have been turned off. We don't want to have them on anymore because these circles we do want in our final design. Hovering over the left hand um, side of this construction line, you'll see a little dot under your mouse cursor turn green. Click on it and come out 9.5 millimeters and press enter. So you get a 9.5 mil diameter circle. Do the same again, this time 3.25 mil for our circle. So you get two circles sitting on top of each other like that. Do the same down the other end. So wait until that little green circle appears. Click and drag out. 9.5 for the first one, 3.25 for the second one. So you're left with four circles, uh, yeah, four circles looking something like that. Okay, next thing we need to do is just grab our line tool and we're going to connect these two larger circles. So simply, whoops, click on the edge of the shape just there and go across and click on the edge of the other circle just there. So you've now got a line running straight through the middle to connect them. Once you've done that, I'm just going to get you to uh, press escape and click on this green line once and press Control c to copy it. Press Control v to paste it and you will get a second line that can be put anywhere above that center line for now. Okay, click on this top line, press Control c to copy it, press Control v to paste it and you get a third line. I want you to bring that down below the center line now. So you've got three lines in total. The centre line should be connected to the circles. You've got a top and a bottom line as well. Okay, and these top and bottom lines need to be three millimetres from this centre centre line. So you need to dimension them. So grab your dimension tool at the top. Let's start with the top line by clicking on it and then clicking the middle line. It's dragging it to the right there. I'm going to type in three and press enter. Do the same for the bottom line. Click on the bottom line, click on the center line, drag out to the right and type in three. Press enter and now all those lines are three millimeters apart from one another. Now to get the top and the bottom lines connected to this circle as well, you need to use the extend tool up in your ribbon. So click on extend and simply click on the top and the bottom lines and they will stretch out and extend themselves to the nearest shape. Do the same for the other end, so with the extend tool still selected, just click on the top and the bottom lines and they extend out until they join that circle. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we need to do is just trim a few of these lines away. So grab your trim tool now, which is just above the extend tool. Zooming back in on the left circles, I'm going to trim off this inside section just here like so. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Trim. Trim. You just click on those lines and they trim away. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim away this center line, which is the construction line. That's now gone. And then clicking on that center line once more with the trim tool will get rid of that center line completely. All right, so we're left with this shape, which is what we want. That looks pretty good. So let's finish the sketch. And the final thing to do now is just extrude that shape. So click Extrude. Choose a distance of 3 millimeters. And you may need to click on this shape if it's not selected so you get this 3D look now. Click OK and you've got your finished linkage arm. Might be a good idea to just give it a bit of an appearance. So click on your appearance browser up the top here. 
Remember, it's a wooden toy train we're making, so I'm going to search for the word wood. I'm going to click and drag over the top of my linkage arm. I might change its color from um, what we've made so far. I'm going to choose a white oak. Press the up arrow on that, and that will apply the white oak texture to our linkage arm. That's all done, so save that up uh, into your model train folder. I'll see you in the next video.